Welcome back, AP World Peeps. We got a good video for you today. This one is on agriculture and pastoralism's impact on human society. So how did these two groups impact life of societies? So one thing you should be familiar with is there's an increase in food supplies during this time. And this is such an important idea to understand. Once people are settling down in agriculture or moving with animals from place to place like pastoralists, there is a larger food supply. This leads to larger populations, which then in turn helps lead to cities and civilizations. And we'll start talking about specific civilizations in the next video, but this is such an important concept to understand. More food equals more people equals civilizations. So because not everyone needed to farm, specialization of labor emerged. I want everybody to circle for me specialization of labor. So not everybody is farming. You have new jobs now that are emerging, such as artisans that will make pottery, cloth, weapons, and tools. Merchants will begin to trade goods not only within the city or civilization, but with other cities and civilizations. Warriors will protect the cities from invasion. And then scribes, perhaps one of the most important jobs, that they were instrumental in record keeping. So they were writing down things like tax laws and sales of goods. So technological innovations that helped improve societies definitely know these. So pottery will be created by fire hardened clay that could be used to store food and liquid. So food and liquids could be traveled from place to place. And this was found as early as about 7,000 BCE. So we're looking at about 9,000 years ago, pottery was being used. Wheels will play an instrumental role in the development of early civilizations. This will help increase trade and transportation. You can travel farther. You can bring goods to a farther distance. It will connect more people. And the Sumerians, who we'll talk about in the next video, they made wheeled carts as early as 3000 BCE. And this helped diffuse goods. So think of all the goods you can travel with on a wheeled cart as opposed to carrying them individually. So patriarchal societies, huge concept that you need to know. These are societies in which men possess authority over women. So with the Neolithic Revolution, with permanent civilizations, with per cities, we see the development of patriarchal societies. Remember, during the Paleolithic era, most, most of these bands were egalitarian. Now, we begin to see the emergence of a patriarchal society. So this will develop in both agrarian and pastoralist societies. And remember pastoralists, they were ones who domesticated animals and traveled from place to place grazing and spreading goods. And here is a picture of a pastoralist society. Mesopotamia's laws enforce patriarchy specifically by allowing men to divorce much easier than women. So it was easier for men to initiate a divorce than it was for women. Egypt was also a patriarchal society. However, women did have more rights there. They were legal equals to men. They could own property. They could sell land. They, have, they could have their own wills and they could divorce. So although both Egypt and Mesopotamia did enforce patriarchy, our examples of patriarchal societies, Egyptian women had more rights than those than their counterparts in Mesopotamia. All right, let's do a quick recap. Pastoralism, what is it? Specialized labor and new classes that develop, be able to identify and describe them. What is the importance of pottery in the wheel for agricultural production, trade, and transportation? And patriarchal societies, what are they? And examples, be able to specifically write about, for example, Mesopotamia and Egypt. All right, guys, look forward to see you back here for video number three, the first urban societies. This is going to be a wicked important video. We are going to cover a lot of the first societies that were established during the Neolithic Revolution. Thanks for watching. Best of luck this year and have a good day.